Alright, measurement errors, example 2. This one's going to be a lot like example 1. Same sort of question, only difference is we're measuring uh, the... We're doing distances rather than measuring something in kilograms. Okay, so starting off, question A. What is the length of the line? Imagining it starts at 0 in this case. Um, and I'm just looking here and I think it's about 3.2... 3.2 centimeters. Okay. Now, next it says, what is the limit of reading? Now, the limit of reading is the smallest unit this thing can measure. And this thing, the smallest it can measure is 0 0.1 centimeters, or what's also known as one millimeter. If you went, and the reason for that, if you look at all these little dashes, they're all one millimeter apart. So the smallest, the limit of reading is just the smallest unit that it, that it can measure. It can't really measure anything less than a millimetre long. Okay? Now, we're going to talk about the upper and lower bounds. So if you think about it, we, we've measured at 3.2 centimetres. There are other things that also measure at 3.2 centimetres. For instance, um, 3.21 measures as 3.2 centimetres. 3.23, 3.24, 3.25 um, we know would actually measure up as 3.3 centimetres, but as we discussed earlier, we usually just take this, because we don't want to keep adding 9s next to the 4, it just gets annoying. So we just go, alright, upper limit, 3.25. Let's look at the lower, lower bounds. Okay, so it could have been 3.19, would measure as 3.2, 3.17, even as low as 3.15. That would also measure out as 3.2 centimetres. Okay, so, um, oh, I'm losing my pen all the time, there we go. Alright, so the lower bound... equals um, 3.15 centimeters and the upper bound is 3.25 centimeters and what we'll do is we'll just look back at the original um, equations and we spoke about absolute error being half times the precision or half times the limit of reading so we do need to do that so um, Absolute error. Okay, so our absolute error is half times, or the same as dividing it by 2, 0 0.1. Because 0 0.1 was our limit of reading, which comes out to 0 0.05 centimeters. And you might remember earlier that the upper and lower bounds can quite simply be solved by taking the length of the line, the 3.2 and subtracting the absolute error to get the lower bound or 3.2 adding the absolute error to find the upper bound. We could have done it that way. All right, let's just do everything in this example now. You get straight to question D and E. Um, just like before, I'm, I'm going to find the percentage error first just because to me the percentage error just makes more sense. So our fraction involves taking the absolute error of 0 0.05 and putting it over the, um, the measurement. So the measurement was 3.2. And I'm just remembering, really, with my absolute error, I shouldn't be saying that it's just 0 0.05. I should be saying it's plus or minus 0 0.05, remembering that you can either add it or subtract it um, from your measurement. Same with our percentage question, it really should be plus or minus 0 0.05 over 3.2 times 100. And what do we get? 0 0.05 divided 3.2 times 100 comes out to, um, if I'm doing it to one decimal place, 1.6% with a plus or minus in front, meaning that our measurement of 3.2 centimetres could be could have an error of about 1.6% in either direction, in the positive or the negative direction. Okay, 
Uh, question D is your relative error, which is exactly the same as question E. The only difference being that you uh, do not times it by 100. And, um, and all you're going to get is basically the same thing. The only difference being that it won't be written as a percentage, it's just written as a decimal.